Hey, it's Ray the Video Guy here, and if you ever wanted to create a website but thought, I am not a designer, I don't know what I'm doing, well, if so, then I've got a great new product that's going to turn anybody into a designer. Oh, and by the way, did I mention it's free? It's free. Okay, so what is this program that's gonna get even the worst designers in the world to start making websites? Well, it's called MobiRise, and you can download it right now for your Mac or your PC, and it'll have you making beautiful websites in just a couple of moments. It has a ton of built-in templates, and you can do all sorts of great things with it. In fact, rather than talk about it, let's look at the inside of MobiRise right now. Okay, so here we are on the inside of Moby Rise. This is a desktop software for Mac or PC. You download it, you open it up on your desktop, and you can create amazing websites quickly and easily, even if you know nothing about coding, you have no design skills, you can still make a beautiful website like this one here. This one's very simple. But we're gonna show you exactly how this works and how you can make them much more complex. So we're gonna start off by coming over to the menu in the top left-hand corner. And here you'll see that you've got a pages section and we're gonna create a new page. We're gonna give this page a name. I'm gonna call it test two. And you can see we now have a blank canvas and there's already a menu up at the top. So the first thing we're gonna do is start adding elements to this page. So down in the lower right hand corner, you'll see this add block to page button. You're going to click on this and it's gonna bring up a variety of different items that you can add to your website. So you can see there's things like menus, headers, if we scroll on down, keep on going, you can see all those headers. You've got sliders and galleries. You've got article blocks. Keep on scrolling down, you've got videos, you've got features, you've got sales materials, you've got all sorts of really cool stuff. Animated features, pricing tables, counters, countdowns, progress bars, timelines, accordions, toggles, and tabs, and a whole bunch more. So we're gonna start off by putting something uh, in the top here. So let's start with this one right here. All we're gonna do is take this and drag it over and you can see it fills in into the page just like so. And you'll see our menu up at the top and you'll see our information that we just added here. Now to make any changes to this, all you have to do is click on the text and give it a title. Okay, and you can change any of the text just by clicking on it and making changes. You can come in, you can make it bold, you can make it italicized, and you can even add a link by clicking the link button and adding a link in here. Down below this we have the buttons, and if we click on any of these buttons here, you can see we can change the colors, just like so. You can make it an outlined button by clicking the outline colors, just like so. So we're gonna give this a color that we can really see. We'll go back to the blue one there. And you can see that next to that, we also have another button here, same type of idea. And you can come in here and change the icon on this button at any time by clicking the icon button. This will bring up a whole bunch of built-in icons that you can use for your button. So for instance, if we decided we wanted this button to have a little globe on it, then we could choose this one and hit insert icon. And now you'll see live demo has a little globe. At any time for this particular block, if you need to make any changes, come over here to the block parameters button. And this will allow you to toggle whether this is full screen. You can add space to the top or bottom or remove it. Just like so. You can turn off your title or any of the other elements in this section, just like this. You can change the background image to a color or even a video. You can turn on or off parallax scrolling and you can even turn on the overlay. The overlay allows you to tint the background a little bit here. So you can see this, when we turn this off, it's a normal picture. When we turn this on, it adds this black to the picture there, and you can choose how much of the black you wanna see by toggling this here. This by itself is a great feature that's missing from most page builders that I really wish they had. Okay, so once we have this 
particular section set up, we can come down and we can choose another one by hitting the button once again. And this time we're going to add, oh, how about a gallery? Let's find a gallery and we'll put that in here. So we got this gallery right here. It's a photo gallery. We'll drop that in. And now you'll see it's got these tag buttons up here for all, for the ones that are tagged awesome, for the ones that are tagged responsive, creative, or animated. Clicking on any of these images and clicking on the, the icon over here will allow you to turn this to full width or not. It'll allow you to add or remove space just like before. I like to remove some of that space. You can add an overlay color. Now what the overlay color is going to do is it's going to put an overlay on the image. As you can see when we hover over this, it actually turns it a little bit brown. And we can come in here and we can change this to any color that we want. And that just shows you that you're highlighting that particular image. You can add a second color if you'd like here. Okay, and so you can see that's on the left-hand side now. You can choose how, how visible that is by clicking the buttons here, sliding the slider. You can see it's slightly less. And if we bring this up, it's a lot darker. Just like so. Down below this, you can change your background color. Just like so. You can also add bullets or text. So if we turn on the text here, you'll see text. You can change the caption for each of the images. You can also turn off the tags. Like so. And down below, you can change the items in your gallery. So if you want to add more images to the gallery, you can hit the plus button a few times and that'll add images down below. If you want to change that image, simply select the image that you want to change. Click on the button here. This will bring up your image gallery. Inside your image gallery, you can browse from your computer and choose an image here. Or you can use the free online library, or you can use the site library, which are images that you've already used inside your account. You can see we've got quite a few in here. But we're going to go to the free online library, and we're going to just do a search. So if we wanted to add an image of a dog, we would type in dog, hit the search button, and you'll see images of dogs pop up here. So we'll choose one of these images and hit OK. You'll see that image is now added to the gallery. You can add a tag to this. In this case, it's already set up as awesome, but perhaps you wanted this to be set up as creative. And so now when we hit creative, our dog image will be added to the creative tag. So let's select another item that we want to add in here. And this time we're going to scroll on down and we're going to choose to add, how about a pricing table? So we're going to take the pricing table and drop that in here. And so now we can come in and we can make any changes that we want to this pricing table. So if we want to change our price to 45 and 69, and 92, we can do that very easily. We can also change the description down here, as well as the information here, and even the buy button can be changed to anything that we'd like, just like so. Again, we can add another section to this. And in this case, actually, let's go up a little bit. We're gonna add an animated feature. Uh, we'll put this one in here. And you can see image features with buttons on mouse over, okay? So what that means is that this is gonna have a feature as you mouse over the image, it's gonna animate. And you can come in here and make any changes that you want to the descriptions or to the titles, just like so. You can change your text here. You can change your images by choosing an image inside your image library like so. Using the block parameters button, we can come in and again, we can remove space. We can choose whether to show the titles or whether we want to show the subtitle, the card titles, the text, and we can change the card background by choosing a color here. You can choose how many cards to show by clicking this here and choosing between one and four. Choosing four will make the cards a little bit smaller.
And once again, you can choose whether or not to have a background image, a color, or a video. You can also choose the color by clicking the button here. Once again, we can add another section to this by simply finding something that we want to add to our page, such as a countdown timer. Drag that in. Once again, we can make any changes that we want. We can set up the timer by clicking the block parameter button and then coming in and changing the countdown date. And we can also change the labels from days, hours, minutes, and seconds to anything that we'd like. We can also change the color of the numbers by clicking the button here and choosing a color. Once again, we can add one more section here that I'd like to show you. And as you can see, there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. I want to add a map to this along with information page. So we're going to click this here and drag that down. And so now you can see we have a map as well as information for contacting us. Once again, we can come in and we can make any changes that we want just by editing the text, changing our phone number, just like so, along with the email. You can also come in and make any changes to the actual form field by coming in here and changing any of the labels, like so. You can also turn on and off any of the labels if you don't want them to be included in your form. Form options, you can add the notification email, so this is where the text is actually going to go to when people fill it out. And you can add a success message that they'll see after they fill out and hit send message. Once we're done, simply hit OK. And now we can come in and we can actually make changes to the maps by clicking this button here. You can then put a new address inside the box here and hit update to get a new map. You can also choose to show the titles or turn it off. The icons, the subheading, the contact, the subtitle, the show text button, and the show form. Once again, you can choose to show a background image, a background color, or a background video. To finish off our website, we're going to add a footer to this by coming in and choosing one of the footer blocks that they have built in. In this case, we're going to choose this one right here, and we're going to drop that in. Once again, we're going to come in and make any changes that we want by simply editing the text, like so. And you can change the contact information, the links, and down below you even have links to social media, which are fully editable. If we want to change Twitter to something else, we click on Twitter, come down to our Soshi icons, and choose in this case, we'll go with maybe Pinterest, like so. And now we can come in and we can change the link so that it's Pinterest.com. Hit insert link, you'll see it in the box here and hit insert icon. You can now see Twitter is now Pinterest and we're ready to go. You can also change your logo in the corner here by clicking this button and choosing your logo from inside the library. In this case, I'm just gonna keep the one that we have and you can come in here and you can make a change to that link like so, hit insert link and hit okay. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to create a very professional website in just a few minutes using the free MobiRise program and all of the built-in elements that they have in here. Now, you can also come in here and make changes. For instance, if we want to move any of these items around, we can click the drag block button here, and this will allow us to drag our items into different locations. Just like so. Once we're done setting up our page, we can actually see what it looks like in mobile by clicking the mobile view button here. Just like so. And once we're happy with everything that we've created, we can preview this in our web browser by clicking the preview and browser button. This will bring it into our web browser where we can see it in action. You can test your image gallery here by clicking on the different tags. And by clicking on any of the images, it brings up larger views of those that we can then scroll through, just like so.
down below, you'll see our animated areas here, as well as our pricing block and other information. So there you go, that's the basics of Moby Rise. As you can see, a very simple editor that anybody can use to create beautiful web pages very, very quickly. Now, the great thing about Moby Rise is that you do get it completely for free for Mac or PC. However, there are a lot of great upgrades that you can get for Moby Rise. And we're gonna take a look at those. All you have to do for that is go to the top left-hand corner, and we're gonna hit the button that says Extensions. This is going to ask you to log back in and hitting OK. And now you're going to see a whole bunch of different options that you can download for your Moby Rise. Some of them are free, which you can get down here and add those to your site. And then some of them are paid, so we've got a lot of different themes and extensions that you can purchase. For instance, this Travel M4 theme is for a travel agency. So you can view the demo by clicking the button here. You see you've got this beautiful site that you can create. And if this is a theme that you'd like for your Moby Rise, you can buy it by clicking here. And you can see this one's $39. They do have a deal right now where you can get all of their themes and all of their extensions. So you can see 1,700 website blocks, 37 themes and four extensions, all themes and extensions for a year, support and updates for a year, unlimited website usage, and you can get that for $149. That really is a killer deal. Of course, you can use Moby Rise completely free. You don't have to purchase any of the themes or extensions, but those are there as you grow to add into your site. So down below some of the themes here, they also have what are called extensions. So for instance, right here, you've got a code editor, you've got a special slider, you've got a PayPal shopping cart, and you've got extra icons that you can purchase. Well, there you go. That is Moby Rise. As you can see, this is a tremendous program that's going to allow anybody to make beautiful websites with simple drag and drop templates that you can start using right away. Now, if you want to be able to start using it right away, well, all you have to do is click the link down below this video, download the program right now. Again, it's free of charge. You pay nothing to get started today. Now, it does have some great plugins and upgrades that you can get, but you can build beautiful websites like we did in the demo without paying a single cent. So what are you waiting for? Download it right away. That's Moby Rise. Download it. Click the link. Well worth it. Click the link.